Good evening, welcome on in to Problem Day 1. What's worse than a frauditor? A frauditor who's drunk. So I turned closed captions on because it's a highway, so you can't really hear the best. He was going 88 in a 70, yeah, not in a 78. Far. Um, so he's going almost 20 over. Normally that's reckless driving. So there's that. He wants your driver's Get back to the front. Yeah. 
out, you need to step out of the car. You need to step out of the car because you violated the law. You need to step out of the car because you're going to be in the back this department is Jeez. so small that the first person that shows up on scene as backup to pull a sovereign citizen out of the car is the police chief. Now I know where I worked, the police chief rarely left his office, let alone was out there trying to go hands on, breaking a window and pulling a sovereign citizen out of the car. So. His badge number being three makes total sense now. Yeah, because the Chiefs is probably one. Look, you're being reported to. Cool. If you don't open the door, she's going to let you know, give you a fair warning. Hey, you're required by law to provide your license. Hey, regardless if you're a traveler or not, you're required to have a license. Stop talking and listen to me. Hey, you don't provide a license, you're going to go to jail for without a license for reckless driving. If you don't open the door, we're going to bust your window and take you out forcefully. There's yeah. a pullover from my way for him driving recklessly. I got him at 8870, he was flashing the high beams at people and he was failing to maintain his lane. I don't so know if he's drunk and stupid. So we're going to have to bust out his window and take him into custody if you don't provide his license. Uh, Alright. No, I agree with you, Lily. We're going to take him out. You got your driver's license, sir? Okay. Are you going to step out of the vehicle? Okay, listen to me. Listen to me very carefully. Okay, if you fail to drive your driver's license, okay, you're going to be taken into custody. You're going to be forced to put us in the vehicle and taken into custody. Your vehicle's going to be towed. Don't walk, and your passenger's going to be forced to walk. If you give me your driver's license, I'm going to write this beam ticket and let you go. Are you going to provide your driver's license? Step out of the vehicle, you're under arrest. You're under arrest. You're still out. You're under arrest. Step out of the vehicle. All right, so because a random shocker, an auditor, and, and a sovereign citizen, he's, he likes to cop watch, do the whole auditing thing at courthouses. And then pull sovereign citizen stuff in court. He wanted to spread a little bit of misinformation and say that this was not an educational channel. So, if you want to, we'll go back. My channel is based off showing people making dumb decisions when it comes yes, to it the law is. and the consequences of those said decisions. Yeah, and that's why I love you, Mr. These officers Clark. did not break this man's window. In uh -huh. a very solid way, because it was a Tuesday and they hadn't hit their broken window quota for safe light. Wait a minute, broken window quota? This cool. guy. I have a bunch of, you know, the old go to Thompson v. Smith, Hendrick v. Maryland, Ritz v. Mealy, all these nonsense things that says what he's doing is wrong. What he's doing is illegal. This is the consequence for his action. Don't be this guy. Yeah, don't be it, stupid. This is how it'll turn out. And then you'll go to court, and you'll get further in the hole, because you should have just had your driver's license off, off rip right here. But, uh, they're just too dumb, I guess. That's our, uh, the bad guy of the story. Oh. This is where I'm going to talk for a hot second while we skip. Um, yes, tell us. 
he decides he doesn't want to walk very fast because he doesn't want to mess up his shoes. And the officer basically tells him that, dude, I don't care about shoes. Um, so this is going to be one of those weird situations where he's going to let this guy ride shotgun while he's arrested. And they're going to talk some shit. So we're going to watch that. Okay. And robe. All because of your political sovereign system skills. Okay. Order 73 tonight, Florida 27. Where is this being told? Where? Where? Santee. Where? Where you are? Bro, I, I, I'm traveling to... I don't care. Can, can I, like, how do I, how would I be able to, like, know where this thing is going to be at so I can get my V, my, we'll give you a, uh, my, my, um, personal demand? My transportation. Where I worked, uh, this guy's going to try very hard not to say car. He's going to wear my transportation. Shut up, dude. Um, where I worked, we had a little slip. Had the address, the phone number, the time they were open, the name of the place, all the prices. As soon as you got released, here you go, bud. That's where your car's at. Call that number. It's right down the road. You can walk there if necessary. Bye. This guy wants to pretend he's a little baby. Oh, I need to get my transportation. Where is it going? I need to know now. You yeah. uh, He almost kind of sounds like Silence Boy. I think that's where I got that voice from. <laughs> I think you do, too. I'm 
while I'm sitting on the side of the road. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting on the side of the road. And then the guy, the guy in front of me, literally like was going way back in my head. I was like cruising with the traffic. You shouldn't drink and drive, bro. Right? I was like, you should drink alcohol. Like, where you talk, the more I smell it. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's the video. That's the video. Um, right at the end there, he hit him with like yeah, more than likely at, at the jail they're gonna do something breathalyzer wise more than likely. Um, he got got. That's all there is to it. And you see right at the end there, he also tried to deflect. Oh, it was the guy in front of me. He was going really fast. And it's just like you already got got, bro. You've been had your own eighty eight to seventy, possibly drunk. More than likely, it is under, in my opinion, uh, that sovereign citizens start this whole spiel because they have an expired and or suspended driver's license. They didn't take care of their business, their license got hemmed up for it, so they go down this route. Handle your business, people. Uh, hopefully you guys have a good rest of your day. Hopefully you guys like this. This is video three of me making it in this fancy thing. Don't know if I like it yet. Thank you, KFAR. I appreciate you helping us out with some content this evening. And with that, we will bring the evening session to a close. As always, please make sure you do like, share, and subscribe. Help us get to the goal of 50,000 views, 1,000 subscribers. So Boxy sends those nice red presents we can send out to you. Google puts us on the algorithms. Also, let us know what you think about the new videos we've been doing for Topanga Farm. Whether it's something you like to see or not, because I can definitely avoid doing a few hours a day there if no one's going to like them, and work on some better and more Hero Wars related content if that's the way folks would prefer. So, again, like, share, and subscribe. Be kind to one another, release the Krakens, and make sure your vaccines are up to date. As we march along this evening and every evening here from day one. Have the best of evenings. We'll see you all here tomorrow. Have a great night, everybody.